good morning students <coughs> good morning students okay today i am going to explain about the security implementation in storage area of network for uh, like uh, yeah for using the many security techniques okay or methods that is one of this uh, that is finite uh, fiber channel storage area network as well as the internet protocol storage area network and the network attached storage systems okay these all are the different okay environments or platforms okay which we are going to use for implementing the security uh, like security of the informations in the storage network means like we have to provide the security of that particular uh, informations okay by using the different platforms okay that uh, like uh, that's what these are or that is fcsan ipsan and nas san see then now i am going to explain about the fc san security architectures okay and in that first of all okay that fc san oh, that is which is nothing but okay fiber channel storage area network okay the fiber channel storage area network okay basically it is going to uh, like depends on the internet protocol internet protocol network okay as well as okay this internet uh, protocol network or it may be a internet protocol channel okay they are going to use for the many number of address okay that is mac address okay see based on this mac address okay they are going to provide the uh, what is that exact informations to the destinations or it may be a target okay uh, then see uh, along with that okay that fc channel okay they are going to use for the different zoning methods okay zoning methods which is nothing but okay zoning okay uh, like it is con like it is having one of the parent node okay like that parent node okay they are going to uh, like belongs uh, sorry that parent node okay they are going to consisting the many number of sibling nodes okay see this is what the zoning okay zoning which is nothing but uh, but uh, like it should be one of the root okay uh, right root node okay that root node it's having the many number of sub roots so this is about the zoning and then the basic uh, sand security mechanisms okay the basic sand security mechanism here we are going to use for the many techniques or methods that is uh, logical unit masking as well as the zoning method switch as well as the fiber wide access control okay switch and fiber fiber access okay they are like we are going to uh, like use for the access control list okay the access control list okay they are going to depends on the either switch uh, uh, as well as the fiber channel access okay see based on this okay they are going to uh, like access means here uh, the the switch uh, as well as the fiber channel okay they are going to work uh, work as the one of the intermediate device okay to to helps the data to transfer from one device to another device or one person to another person okay then the next one is for like we are going to use for the partitioning okay the partitioning okay we are going to use the either a logical or it may be a uh, like physical partitioning okay that we are going to see in the virtual storage area network okay so these all are the like common methods or security methods okay which we are going to implemented in the um, storage area network then i'll move on to the uh, this one fiber channel security architecture so this is what the fiber channel security architecture okay the security architecture here uh, like uh, they are going to like made up with the different security zones okay that is security zone a b c d e f okay g like that okay uh, it is going to like made up of the like many number of or list of security do zones okay then each security zones okay they are going to uh, like they are going to uh, like what is a taken care their own responsibilities okay suppose the security zone a okay they are going to acting as a administrator see you look at this diagram okay the security zone a okay they are going to acting as a administrator then security zone b okay uh, like it is the responsibility uh, for the firewalls means they are going to block the uh, like uh, what is that term um, un uh, sorry means what is that wastage of data or it should be unwanted of data okay they are going to securing and this uh, then security c okay they are going to access control the switch uh, or it may be a fiber channel then security d okay they are going to like what is that um, like they are going to making the establish between the host as well as the switches see like that many thing okay they are going to maintaining the responsibility then security zone e okay here they are going to use for the switch or either a router 
okay based on this switch or router okay they are going to passing the informations between the one zone to another zone then security f okay they are going to like what is that taken care for the distance extensions between the many number of uh, what is that nodes inside the network then the security zone g okay they are going to use for the switch storage okay the switch storage means how the data okay it is going to complements or they are going to what is that they are going to like uh, receives the uh, yeah receives the data okay by using these switches okay inside the storage area network okay means here they are going to use for the multiple uh, disk okay how they are going to uh, with the help of uh, switches okay they are going to receive the data and they are going to storing see this is what the different zoning methods then i'll like uh, like i'll we will see one by one what is the security zone a see the security zone a and security zone b okay they are going to uh, like uh, connect the, see these two systems or these two zones okay basically they are going to interconnected with the lan and through this lan okay uh, like they are going to connected many number of security zones first of all here the local area network okay they are going to act as one of the centralized device okay which like here all the zones okay like a to f uh, yeah f zones okay they are going to internally or it may be externally okay they are going to interconnected between uh, between each other so uh, then the security zone a so the security zone a authentications at the management console okay here see here what it will do for the security zone a administrator okay here they are going to provide the authentications okay as well as the, whatever the authentications okay they are going to managing inside the network and they are going to follow the many number of what is that uh, mac address and they are going to implement the virtual private network and tunneling uh, tunneling for securing the remote access to the management okay uh, management local area network as well as the they are going to uh, like provide the different factors for the authentications uh, for the network access so these all are the okay, these all are the functions okay they are going to handle by the security zone a administrators and uh, this administrator okay they are going to restrict the management of the lo logical area network access to the authorized users okay then the security b that is firewall okay here the firewall okay they are going to like what is that uh, they are going to uh, like avoid the advantage of the data inside the network as well as the uh, like they are going to what is that encrypt the traffic for filtering outside address okay that should not be allowed allowed on your Lo lo uh, like logical area network as well as the screening for allowable protocols okay then along with that they are going to use for the different ports okay then zoning c okay is it is one of the access control switches okay it is going to provide the many number of access control switches okay that is for the uh, what is that um, control sorry challenge handshake yeah, handshake protocol and it may be a, okay defi hellman challenge protocol or it may be a now what is that means uh, like uh, what i am going to telling now must this security zone c okay they are going to use for the different uh, handshaking protocol okay uh, based on that they are going to providing the information means they are going to for securing the informations uh, so this is about the security zone c then the security zone d okay that is host to switches okay the host to switches okay they are going to use for the what is that different okay interface uh, it may be a host bus adapter okay or it may be a uh, what is that network interface card okay based on this okay they are going to passing the informations from one system to another systems then the security zone e okay here they are going to use the switches or it may be a router okay with the help of router or with the help of switches okay they are going to passing the informations okay inside the zones okay the, after that okay this with the help of uh, this router okay they are going to mutually Oh, yeah mutually they are going to distribute that particular informations to the all other nodes by using the logical a logical area network uh, has not only for logical area network sorry not only for local area network okay they are going to use for the wide area network also okay if it is the informations will be a okay uh, i mean the information will be a more means they are going to like cross the limit of that particular uh, lan okay they are going to use for the wan okay so this is what the uh, like zoning method okay which we are going to implemented in the say, storage area network
so uh, like i'll move on to the next topic uh, that is uh, like what are the uh, logical unit mass uh, like masking has